Welcome to my YouTube channel, Nelly Decoder. Today, in this lecture, we're going to be talking about the very basic stuff in RegJX. We're going to do our project setup and we are going to go through which tools we need to install in order to run our first RegJS application. So let's just dive into the lecture. The very first thing that we need is basically the React CRA that we call React Create Application. If you go to this, this website and you click the get started, you'll see the installation instructions were here. There are the rest of the tutorial that you can go through as well. But for now, we'll just focus on the installation and we just need to create a new React application. And you will see how we can create a React application using the CLI tool that's called Create React App. All we have to do is copy this command and run it in our terminal. But before that, we need something else. The second thing that we need to have is basically Node.js. That is basically the core thing that we need to install in order to run our React.js application. So make sure that you download the latest version and install it on your machine. I'm using Mac OS. My operating system is basically Mac, so I'll install it from my one. I already installed it, but for your one, it will be, for, if you're a Windows user, you'll have a Windows specific node environment. If you're a Linux user, you'll have a Linux specific user environment. The third thing that you need, you need is basically a code editor. Personally, I'm using Visual Studio Code. That's really good. Uh, you have the flexibility to install a lot of different extensions and all that that gives you really hands on the editor and your code as well. So personally, I'm using this one, but it's a matter of choice. You can use Sublime Text or any code editor of your choice. So let's just go and install Let's just go and create our first React application. First of all, I'll just go to the desktop. I'll create a directory. I'll call it tutorial. I'll get into this directory. And here I'll install or create my first React application. So I can just do npx create React app. And then I'll have to provide the application name so I can name it anything here. So you can just name your application whatever you want, but I'll just do name it React demo and I'll hit enter. And this will start installing the node modules and the dependencies for the React application. It will just take a while to install the dependencies. So yeah, the installation is done. And now I can go to the React demo application that I just installed or created. I'll just open it in the code editor. I'll just do code and then space dot. And it will open this project in my code editor. That's basically the VS code. And you can see all of the folders and files over here. You can open the source file. You can see the CSS files, the JavaScript files, the test files. And um, you can see the public files over here. And the .html, the logos and all that. In order to run the application, you just need to do npm start. And it will run your application. You can see different logs on the terminal and when it's running, when it's run successfully, you can just see your React application will be running over here like this. So yeah, we just ran our first React application. Let's just make some changes to the file and let's just put something else over here. We, let's say we say, hello world, when I save it, you can see the changes are directly displayed over here. I don't need to reload the page. The application will be reloaded by itself. That's called hot reloading. So it's been taken care of by Webpack and Babel and all those cool stuff and the tools that is already installed by the React Create A tool. And uh, we will talk about that in the later videos. But for now, let's just go through the folder structure and all that and understand what it is. 
So basically what you are seeing over here is a function that is basically a component and that function is returning some JSX code. It looks like HTML, but it's not really an HTML and it's basically a JSX code. So we can write our, our JSX over here and we can modify and do stuff like that. The index.js is basically the root file uh, which, where you can see this component is created. This is the component, the app component that is created over here. And um, this is just uh, exported as a default function. And we are importing this app component over here. And this is how we can call it or render it. With the help of this React DOM create root application, we are pointing to an HTML element with this ID root, and we are just appending this application or rendering this application inside the root element. In the index.css file, you can see different styles, the body style, the code style, and this has been imported over here as well. You can see just like this, and these styles will get applied on this root application. And for each component, you can have a separate file like this. You can see we're here and you can just apply your styles like this with the help of the classes. Also, you can see we have this SVG logo that, is have, that have the SVG extension that has been imported in the app.js file. You can see how it is imported. So you can see logo.svg is imported from here. And then the logo is basically in the source attribute. We are passing it like this and it will work. There are some key differences between HTML and JSX that we will talk about later. But for now, you can see that instead of just writing a class, we name it class name just to make it different from the HTML. And also you can see on different attributes, we can pass dynamic values like this. Say if we are passing it a variable value or any dynamic value like the image and all that, we can do it like this. So you just need the curly braces and then the pass, pass it the URL the variable name or the file name or whatever. So it will work. Also here, for example, I don't want to print it hard coded. I'll just get rid of it from here. And within this component, I'll declare another variable. I'll call it message and I'll sign this string. And in here, for example, I want to print this message within the P block. I can just do simply this. I'll need to enwrap the message within the pair of curly braces. When I save it, go to the browser, you can uh, still see the message. For now, I'll just get rid of all of the code because I don't need this. I'll still leave the message over here. And instead, I'll just make it h1, just to make it bigger, get rid of the logo. And also, we don't need the app.css file if we need it, you can create it later on as well. I'll get rid of the test file as well. And I don't need the logo either, since we got rid of this. All this mode trash and you can see hello world and we now have a clean react application so yeah we just ran our first react application if you have any problem with the configuration or any problem with the installation please let me know in the comment section and i'll try to help you out and until that i'll see you in the next lecture